channel and welcome to a new video we are currently in Istanbul we have two days here we have today and tomorrow it's now two o'clock and we are headed out to find something to eat we arrived from Albania this morning and now we are ready to see what Istanbul has to offer so yeah if you're new here hi my name is Christine I am 31 years old and live in Norway I love to travel and make YouTube videos me and my boyfriend just recently visited Albania and Istanbul is the last destination on our three week long journey. Also, I'd like to apologize for all the shaky shots you're going to see throughout this video. I noticed when I got home and watched through the clips that the stabilization function on my camera was turned off throughout this whole trip. I think this is my first time trying Turkish tea. I'm also not the best videographer, but hey, I'm not going to let that stop me from making YouTube videos. And you should not let your perfectionism stop you either. Look at this! Oh, I already love turkey. A traditional Turkish breakfast, especially in Istanbul, features a diverse selection of small dishes like cheeses, olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, bread and eggs, often enjoyed with strong Turkish tea. This elaborate spread reflects Turkey's rich culinary history and social dining culture, evolving from a simpler meal to a celebratory and leisurely affair that highlights communal dining and local ingredients. Look at this chocolate spread. I mean, oh my lord. This was the best breakfast I have ever had. Seriously, I've never had a breakfast this yum. And there's coffee as well. I had to have some coffee as well. If you're wondering, this is a glass of cold water. Drinking cold water before having Turkish coffee helps cleanse the palate. The strong rich flavors of the Turkish coffee can be quite intense, so the water helps neutralize any lingering tastes and prepare your taste buds for the coffee. Oh, good. We just had the most delicious breakfast buffet in the middle of the day. They're open until 4.30. <sighs> it was the best. Istanbul is a fantastic city with a rich history and vibrant culture. Formerly known as Byzantium and later Constantinople, Istanbul has been a major cultural and political center for more than 2,500 years. It was the capital of three great empires, the Roman, Byzantine and Ottoman empires. vibe in this city. The roads here, like on this side of the city, are super steep. You usually see cities that are more flat. This has lots of hills. It's really pretty and I just love the energy here. Istanbul is a melting pot of cultures, where East meets West. Its rich blend of traditions, languages and cuisines reflects its historical role as the crossroads of civilizations. Istanbul 
Istanbul is uniquely positioned on the Bosphorus Strait, which connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. It's straddling two continents, Europe and Asia. This strategic location has made it a vital trade and cultural hub throughout history. Headed up this tower. The Galata Tower offers panoramic views of the city. This medieval stone tower is a great spot to capture breathtaking cityscapes. We did not go to the top of the tower, but we enjoyed the view from the ground, which was also nice. Dark. We're gonna head inside to the hotel for a little bit and then go out and find something to eat a little bit later. While steeped in history, Istanbul is also a dynamic and modern city with a lively art scene, trendy neighborhoods, and a bustling nightlife. We'll find some kebab or falafel for dinner. Taksim Square is a major public square known for its vibrant atmosphere, shops, restaurants and cultural events. Istanbul's food scene is a culinary journey in itself. You'll find everything from savory kebabs and fresh seafood to sweet treats like baklava and Turkish delight. Thank you. So, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. Number one. You welcome Turkish Norway. Thank this you. big brand, Norway Turkish. Number one. Good. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Amazing! Mm. Very children, children, very. So this is the first time I'm trying shisha. It's okay. <laughs> Fail. We bought some Turkish delights, a little mix to bring back home to the hotel room as well as some other candy. I don't know what it is, but I really wanted to taste some different Turkish delights. And yeah, let's have a little taste. I want to taste this pistachio thing. LOL. Turns out I wasn't eating Turkish delights when I thought I was. I was actually eating Turkish baklava, which was delicious by all means, but I got it all confused. So turns out the candy in the brown bag there is actually Turkish delights. 
Turkish Delight or Lokum in Turkish is a traditional confection made from sugar, starch and various flavorings like rose water, lemon or nuts. It has been enjoyed since the Ottoman Empire and is known for its chewy texture and often colorful appearance. Turkish Delight is commonly served with coffee or tea and is a popular treat during holidays and special occasions. So here we are eating Turkish baklava before bedtime thinking we actually ate Turkish Delight. Mm, such fools. Let me tell you, it's almost midnight. And here we are eating candy. Good morning! This is the last day in Istanbul. We are headed to find something to eat and then we'll go to the other side of the river today. Istanbul is uniquely situated on both the European and Asian continents, separated by the Bosphorus Strait. The European side is often considered the historical and cultural part of Istanbul. It's home to many of the city's most famous landmarks such as Hagia Sophia, Tukapi Palace and the Blue Mosque. The Asian side of the city tends to be more residential and offers a slightly more relaxed atmosphere compared to the European side. It has a different vibe with more suburban areas and green spaces. We didn't actually make it to the Asian side of Istanbul. That will be another time in Istanbul. We just arrived by metro to the Istanbul University, but we want to go to the bazaar and also the mosques, like the most, the biggest ones. So yeah, let's see if we can find our way. I'm actually like super tired right now. I think I entered into a food coma. So. The Grand Bazaar is one of the largest and oldest covered markets in the world and boasts over 4,000 shops selling everything from spices and textiles to jewelry and antiques. It's a vibrant place where visitors can experience the hustle and bustle of traditional Turkish commerce. to Aya Sofia now and we're super tired today after traveling for for three weeks so I think we just want to see this and then just take it easy for the rest of the day okay so the line to enter the mosque is very long so that's not gonna happen. I think it's enough for us to enjoy the view from the outside. Hagia Sophia was originally a Christian cathedral, then it became a mosque, then a museum, and now it is a mosque again. It is renowned for its stunning dome and its significance as a symbol of religious and architectural evolution. And right next to Hagia Sophia is also the Blue Mosque, which well, you can see a little bit of there. The Blue Mosque is known for its striking blue tiles and six minarets. 
It is a masterpiece of Ottoman architecture and a significant place of worship. This one is also, it looks so pretty. It would have been nice to see it maybe next time we're in Istanbul. But for now, it was cool just to be in the area and see the mosques with our own eyes from a distance. Hey! Perfect. With the Moroccan tea, just like in the Thank you. Let's try Moroccan tea. Oh. This is good tea. So sweet. That concludes this Istanbul video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and I will see you again. Bye.